Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA Millionaire in just 15 questions. In the previous episode, we did have Danny Aarons on. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Of course, it was a very good and uh, fun recording with Danny, as always. And um, one of the questions was a little bit um, unclear, I think, to some of the people in the comments. Basically, the Castro question, um, what I was asking was what that default Castro, Cilio Castro, is on FIFA Ultimate Team. Obviously, in the question, I said that that Castro card's a striker on the custom card that Castro received. But what I was asking was um, what that card was default on FIFA Ultimate Team. So hopefully that clarifies it for a few people that were a little bit confused in the comments. Maybe I could have uh, written the question a little bit more clearly. But nevertheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode anyway. And today, we do have probably the smartest person when it comes to the FIFA community. It's basically his job to know everything he possibly can about FIFA. So... Big, big expectations for him today. Shall we find out how he does? Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Today in the hot seat we have a FIFA esports commentator and presenter from Manchester, England. He has been commentating for over four years and consuming FIFA content for over ten years. It is the one and only Richard Buckley. Thank you, thank you. I can see the applause in the back. I, I appreciate you, I appreciate it. But I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm honoured. It's a privilege to be on here. I've... Uh, I've been a big fan of this series, and when I got the DM saying, do I fancy coming on, I cancelled plans to make sure that I am here today <laughs> to be part of this series. Um, I actually went to bed dreaming last night of who wants to be a millionaire, and thinking, I wonder what happens if I went all the way without using a lifeline and winning 100k FIFA points, and that is a, a possibility, it's probably not going to happen, but we can all dream. <laughs> It's good to have dreams. It's good to <laughs> potentially be the first person to hit 100,000 FIFA points. And in terms of experience, I don't think there's many people that have more than you because obviously being an esports commentator, you've got to know so much about this game and uh, obviously consuming content for so long as well. So yeah, I've got high expectations for you today, Richard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Mean, I play along at home and I sort of, it's the questions where other people may struggle. For example, the, the Alp 27 HD before the answer even come up, I said Borja Valero. I just remember that vividly <laughs> in my head. I just remember that piece of content coming out. Um, but, yeah, especially in the last sort of three to four years, I've lived, breathed FIFA, FIFA esports, FIFA content, um, whether it's working events, whether it's streaming, or just being around FIFA. Uh, I've, I've got a decent understanding of it. It's just, I'm hoping that the, the questions that maybe a little bit easier i don't fall over on because that will be embarrassing it's, it's trying to get to like question 10 without using any lifelines i think that's yeah. the real trick to this series i think if you can get a good 10 in a row without having to use any then those final lifelines can get get you to at least 12k and uh, potentially even a hundred thousand fingers crossed okay 15 questions three lifelines are possible One hundred thousand fifa fever points best of luck richard let's play who wants to be a fifa millionaire Question number one is for 100 FIFA points. Which of the following are an in-game accuracy stat on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it head, shoulders, knees, toes? <laughs> which is? <laughs> yeah, which which one is a uh, accuracy stat? <laughs> okay, that will be uh, a head. That is the correct answer. <laughs> and, uh, a lot... To be honest, the first question on like any millionaire is brilliant because they just try and make some like rhyming or kind of <laughs> yeah. I don't know, just something a little bit different. Um, and as soon as I, I don't know how I came up with that. I just thought I was looking at like in-game stats and stuff like that, and I was it like, just clicked. let's let's do <laughs> yeah, something just clicked. <laughs> question number two is for two hundred FIFA points on FIFA Twenty One Ultimate Team. How many FIFA points does it cost to enter the foot draft? Is it a one hundred and fifty? B, 300, C, 450, or D, 600? Well, I, I do know the answer to this because on my FIFA Ultimate Team account currently, I have 200 FIFA points and I cannot enter. So I need to load up another 100 FIFA points to enter the foot draft. That would be 300 FIFA points to enter the foot draft. And that is the correct answer. Well done. Um, I, think, I think draft is definitely one of the most... Uh, fun modes on FIFA in my opinion I think it's just really enjoyable just to try different players on each game uh, yeah. and uh, um, especially recently with the draft sort of being buffed a little bit we had that sort of what three four days where the prime icons were all in and then recently there's been a lot more promo 
items as well in the draft. Um, I've actually been playing a bit of foot draft recently as well. Um, team of the Year seems to be popping up every every single draft for me. So, yeah, it's uh, I enjoy draft. I think it needs a little bit of a tweak to make it better longevity-wise. But I think some position changes, like maybe if you got given like an option of one or two that would really yeah. unlock a lot of it because you'd, you'd be able to like convert a left winger to left forward or yeah. a cdm to whatever um but yeah i think i think there's a lot of potential with the entire game altogether so can't wait to see what comes in the future on fifa 18 marlos changed nation to ukraine but what nation did he represent before is it a argentina b brazil c chile or d peru marlos uh, was one of the the best uh, silver stars I remember back in the day, or otherwise known if you were a FIFA fan, Brasilvers, and uh, that would be B Brazil. And that is the correct answer. He was he was a very good uh, Brasilver back in the day. Um, obviously, without the Brazilian league now, it has kind of you know back in the day there used to be some really really like do you remember Rafael Sabis yeah he, he wasn't C silver CDM but, yeah. um Marcio Azevedo the left back the five yeah, star skill Azevedo. left back yeah um Danilinho oh there were so many back in the day people used to have legit their main team a silver Brazil team very good thing back in the day and uh I think I think it, it's quite nice that they have brought back silver stars with the objectives now I think that's definitely given us a new um, perspective to build our teams with. Question number four is for 500 FIFA points. What rating is Prime Moments Roberto Baggio on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A90, B92, C94 or D96? Okay, so Prime Icon Moments Baggio is... Um, do I get extra points if I name all of his items? Because <laughs> uh, he's base in 89, his primes are 90. Uh, his mids are 91, his primes are 93, which will mean his prime icon moments is a 94, and he's also 17 icon swap tokens in the uh, in the icon swaps currently. So that will be 94 as my final answer. And that is the correct answer. He is actually a really good card. The only negative, in my opinion, is the uh, stamina. I think that just really lets down that card. I think he's shot um, power as well. I think he, he's yeah, got I about think that, 80 that or 78 like, shot fair. power. Um, but I think people was left with a sour taste in the mouth when it was he was the, the, the big player in Icon Swaps, weren't they? It was, yeah, I think, I think they could have maybe gone for someone, a little, especially for 17 tokens, when you can get like much more stuff for better yeah, value absolutely. um i think i think it would have been nice to have somebody else but uh i think i think he's a he's a decent card but at this stage of the game um you know i think it could have been a lot better no, i agree question number five is for 750 fifa points which of the following positions is the in form alfonso davies on fifa 21 ultimate team is it a left back b left wing back c left mid or d left wing Ooh. Okay. Bit of a bit of a trickier question. So I know he's eighty four rated, and I know that he is not a left back or left wing back. He's either a left wing or a left mid. And it's quite a recent one. It as well. is very recent. Only last week, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was last week. I well, by the time this video goes live, it will be about two three yeah, weeks ago. True. But. True. True. <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna, a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to play without using any lifelines. And uh, mm. this is risky because you got you got two more. Well, you got this question and the next question, and then you guarantee the thousand. I could have maybe put this question a little bit higher. I'm not going to lie. I think this might be slightly difficult. But no, I'm going to play. Le oh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> on the tip of my tongue, I'm saying left wing, right? I'm saying left wing, left wing, and left wing because he lined up in the formation in the three four three as a left winger, and Benzema was striker. And I remember saying you can convert him down to a left mid to get seven chemistry at left back. So I'm going to play left wing. Final answer. Oh, why would you say that? Because now you're making me think that he's left mid. <laughs> Oh, I've got I've got to lock him in. I got to make oh. sure you, that is your answer. You know what? I, you kind of did it. You kind of did end the sentence. I as did. That was your I final did. answer. I did. But I did. Um, 
do I look? Oh. I feel like this is one of those that I could ask Twitter and it'd be just instant reply. You say that, but a lot of the time, the, the ask the audience, especially the last two or three weeks, have been very painful. Um, you know, like essentially 25% oh, on each that's not, one. I know, um, it's, <laughs> so. I know that it's not a left back and I know that it's not a left wing back. I know them. So it's essentially a 50-50 I know, already. and if I, do, um, if I do 50-50, I know you're going to get rid of left mid and left, uh, left wing back and left back. <laughs> and you're going to leave them. Basically, I do, I do it as a one to three number generator. Oh. Um, so it is completely random. But are you going to lock it in as you, you find You know what? Yes, I am. Left, wing, left, left wing. wing. I'll go out of my shield. And that's the correct answer. Well Come done. on. Um, that that knowledge of knowing that it was a three four three and that Benzema was at striker that that's uh, definitely an opportunity to get over the line Ooh. there. Um, slightly slightly harder for question. I, th I think I could have maybe changed some of the positions, but then again, he's essentially all, yeah. always on that left hand side. It, it, um, it was just I knew they weren't a left back because that's why he was slightly <laughs> cheaper. Because obviously he's, he, you've got to play him on seven chem yeah. if you want to play him. So then, it would have it would have been a bit of a trip question if I did say, yeah, it was a left back back. Oh, yeah, if, if that, that was the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm happy with that left wing three four three. I knew that the team would be lined up like that, and if he were left mid, they'd have put him at left mid for it to for him to get in the team. So yeah, left wing, come on. Question number six is for one thousand FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed a thousand. Who finished runner up at, in the grand final? at the E-Champions League 2020 Invitational? Is it A, Nicholas Razek, B, Megabit, C, Mo Bamiang, or D, Gorilla? Oh. Bit of, bit of your expertise. I this did is, work but, this event. Uh, did you not? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pick the one event that you did. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that, that, is a, that is a swing, oh. that was. I'm at, oh. Oh, I'm on holiday. Oh, you're, where, where were you? I think I were in... Uh, it was just in like July time last year, so like COVID restrictions had lifted, and I was yeah it was that it was that um, pause of yeah oh wait, I was in uh, Chester for a few days. <sighs> I didn't that? watch it. Oh okay, let me think about this. I know, I know that it's not Megabit. And who are the other answers? Can I repeat them? Uh, Gorilla, uh, Nicholas Razek, and Mo Bamiang. Okay, so I can't I can't believe I picked the one event that because obviously I, I just looked on the wiki page at yeah, all the like literally. recent events and I've not like looked who's you know presented and um, commented so that's that's a bit of a downfall. Of my I'm ninety nine percent sure that it's Mo Albert and Tech smashed him in the final, but I could be thinking of something else. So can I take the? Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna take a fifty fifty on an esports question. This is shocking. <laughs> um, this is like a meme. This is like. Oh. It's like KSI forgetting his own lyrics in that Sidemen video. Yeah. Megabit. Uh, it's not Megabit. I'm 99% I'm sure it's not Megabit. It's not... Ooh, was it Razek? I don't think it was. It might have been Razek. I will I will give you this bit of information. It was actually Tex in the final. Yeah, Tex won it. I will give Tex you won. That. Yeah. Yeah, so you know that Tex won. So that's why I didn't want to put him as yeah. who won the tournament. I thought... Yeah. But it, it's slightly more difficult. But um, you see, this is one of those that if I ask the audience, I don't think they'll know. Yeah, this is a very kind of niche question. Oh, this question. is outrageous! Um, oh, my head's just gone absolutely blank. <laughs> as, as soon as you're in the hot seat, guys, you're not there like chilled at home, just watching it on YouTube. You're like, you got the pressure on you, and um, you don't want to get the question wrong. That's for sure. Who did he beat? Um, can I take the 50-50, please? So Richard's that's uses 50-50, uh, and the two remaining answers are Megabit and Mo Alba. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, this was, this was <laughs> what I thought very... originally. The 50-50 has done me good. <laughs> Thank you for the person upstairs. Mo Alba. And that is the correct answer. Well done. I think, uh, honestly, I don't know how I've managed to, like, just pick the one event that you weren't working <laughs> you on. Like, that, that the is... thing is, like, I even said, I was like, I think it's Mo Alba. I seem to remember Tex smashing him in the final. Like, that's yeah, it a... was. It was a Tex. Uh, obviously, Tex uh, Mo Alba yeah, final. Yeah, uh... like, that were a vivid, like, a memory that I remember Tex really beating him comfortably. But then part of me were like, 
Well, Razek's Razek's good. He could have been Razek. He is good. He is good. Um, okay, Mo Alba. Thank you. Woo! Question number seven is for 2,000 FIFA points. Which of the following removed legends were the highest rated? Is it A, Pauletta, B, Bremer, uh, C, Lalas, or D, Seaman? I'm not going to lie, I might have butchered the, uh, you know, the left back from Germany. Yeah. Brem is it Bremer? Uh, Bre Bremer, yeah. Bremer, that's it, there we go. The Germans in the comments will be like, this This pronunciation's awful. <laughs> um, I'm, 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 I'm going to play this. I think... Bremer was 87. I think Lalas was 86. I believe Pauletta was 87 as well. And David Seaman, if memory serves me correctly, was 88. And I'm looking for the highest or lowest. The highest rate. Okay, so I'm going to play. Pauletta can't have been 89. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it was 87. See, I didn't have Legends because I've always been on PlayStation. So this is yeah. That was the that was those few years of Xbox. <sighs> yeah, um, where it was just on the one console. That's that's really for a lot of the people that come on this series. It's it's one of the things that might not be their strong point. Yeah, I've I've always been PlayStation. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little PlayStation blanket behind me. Shout out PlayStation. Um, I'm I'm gonna play David Seaman. Uh, I'm I'm again. I'm gonna go out on my shield, but I think David Seaman was 88. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. You did have two lifelines. Oh. But you didn't need him because you do have the correct answer. It is David Seaman. Oh. Well um, he was 88. All those numbers were correct. Um, and yeah, the, I think I think Lalas back in the day was absolutely class. Like that, that 86 card at centre back. just And uh, Bremer the left back as well. Um, yeah, that, I, think, I think that was a relatively difficult question. It's about remembering back in the, the day. The ratings. Um, but you we did. got through it. Yeah. Again, just... But you got through it. I don't know why, but just numbers seem to stick in my head, like Bremer being 87. I think it's just the amount of YouTube videos I've watched with those players in, like whether it be rewards or pack pulls or squad builders, like just remembering, yeah, 87, Cause, Bremer. Because the Legends only had one yeah, rating. It's, it's not like it's now where easier. they've got like three, four different ratings. How many Italian boards are there on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A3, B5, C7, or D9? Wow. You can you can get your whiteboard or notepad if you want, if you want to okay. write them down. Italian boards. So just 83 to 85s. Um, okay. That's about it. No special cards, just gold cards. Just gold, regular specials. Okay, so we got Donnarumma. He's 85. That's one. Right backs, Florenzi. No, centre backs. Drop my pen. I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> have you have you written Florenzi down? No, 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 no. He's, no, he's I was about to say like, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, a Serbi. Florenzi. He's a centre back. Italian centre backs. Let me go through the leagues. Premier League, none. League one. None. Serie A. We've got a Serbi. Benucci? I think Benucci's 85. Benucci's not a walkout. I'm pretty sure Benucci's 85 as well. Is he still in the game? I've just made that up. I think Benucci isn't. Yeah, I think Benucci's 85. <laughs> I've put him in SBCs before. <laughs> um, left backs. Premier League. you got Emerson, who's like 78. Nobody else. Uh... La Liga, no, there's a serious lack of, of Italian left backs. I think Crescito is the highest rated at 80. Yeah, I think I think he's the only gold one, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Well, in the uh, yeah. Serie A, that is. Um, centre mid CDMs. CDMs. Jorginho. It's a fantastic That's a good one to remember. That is, that is a good one to remember because he's like a bit of a. Um, outside of the league. I think he's the only Italian board in the Prem. Is there anybody else? I don't think there is. Let's go to Ligon. Verratti's 86. Um, so it, it can't be him. Going into oh, Serie A. Um, 
What were the options again? Three, five, seven, and nine. They were indeed. I know it's not. I know it's not three, because I've already got four. <laughs> um. Let me just run through quickly. Wide players. Lazari is 81. Premier League, none. Ligon, none. Serie A. Serie A. There's got to be at least one in Serie A. Um, boards, 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 boards. I would like to help you, but I don't want to give any, you know, yeah, unbiased that's, that's towards fine, this. Um, <laughs> just take your time. You, you've seen them all the time. Yeah. It's just trying to remember them. There's, there's one that is very. Um, you, might, I think, I think all of them are rememberable, but there's one that you might forget. Just go through all the positions again. You've gone. To do. I'm just trying to think. Wide players. Um, Wide mids. Wide mids. There's, I think there's an 83 rated wide mid. I just can't remember his name. I've put him in SBC before. Like, he's one of those that I see in SBC. I buy him and put him in. But I just can't remember who yeah. it is. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking five. Like, I'm, I'm just swaying towards five. I don't know if it's because I've done revision and I've looked at all the boards and five's just sticking in my mind. Um... You could have asked me France. More. I know it's 13, France. <laughs> you did the revision yeah. for France, but not, not Italy. Um, <laughs> I thought I thought I'd go for a bit of a... A low one. I don't know. Quite quite a few... Like, it's quite heavily based in this area, the, the Italians, just like the Spaniard, Spaniards. Um, Immobile is 87. The... Oh, this is tough. I'm literally just staring at my blinds, thinking that something's going to... Something's gonna happen for me. <laughs> it's just gonna pop out of nowhere, oh, just a bit of information. Um, I started so well. Right, let's, go, let's start again. Goalkeepers. Donnarumma. Is there anybody else? Any other good goalkeepers from Italy? Can you name any other Italian goalies? I mean, the only thing I'm thinking is Paolo Lopez, but I definitely know he's Spanish. Yeah, he's Spanish. <laughs> he's the only one that's coming Just play for Roma. Um, I've just got Chesney, who's Polish. Um, would my would my friend know this? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, this is this is this is long. Um, right, let's focus. Switch in. Strikers. It's one of those questions that obviously because of the, the ratings change each year, you got to you've got to remember what's this yeah. year. Five C seems too low. Um, but can you think of any others? No. That's the issue I'm having here. Five seems really low. There is there is a very tricky one in here that you'd might assume would be elsewhere. That's all I'm going to say. So that would that would presume that there's five, <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, it's so painful being on my side of the yeah, thing. Yeah, literally. Like, that I, oh. <laughs> hey, I, I'm. I'm confident it's either five or seven at this point. It's not three because I've already got four, and I think nine's too lofty. I think nine's Italy's not like you'd, good anymore. You'd remember if it was nine. Yeah, I think, I think you'd remember. So it's either five or seven. And at the minute, I'm swinging towards seven because I think there's at least three I've not remembered. I think there's three that I've just not remembered at all. Um, apologies to the to the viewer watching at home. You're probably pulling your hair out. Uh, yeah, this this is one of those questions that, at home, a lot of the people when they're watching these videos, I 100% know they're looking at footbin and they've looked at all the yeah, boards, literally. and then they're like, I know what the answer is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those when you're in the hot seat and the pressure's there, and you've not even like considered this kind of question. Um, Donnarumma. It's it's quite difficult. Benucci, Acerbi, Jorginho, Spinozola. He's 81. Um, I feel like there's another uh, Romagnoli. There we go. There's one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when, when you were going like Donna Roma, oh, is there any AC? Um, and then you went like. Okay, so oh, that's five. 
Now I just need to find out, is there, is there any more attackers? I think Immobile, Immobile is the highest rated Italian at 80, uh, at attacking, uh, highest Italian attacker at 87. Is there a 85, 84, or 83? We've got Adair, I think he's 81, or 79, I can't remember. I think he's 79 now. He used to be Brazilian, he did. Um, he was one of the nation changers. In that bracket, 83, 25. Cams. I feel like it's probably a cam. That might be it. That might be five. But there's no attacking players. It could be five. Any other positions? I'm trying to think wide players. You see them all the time as well. That's yeah, the painful literally. thing. They're just there, like in the back of your mind. Just you'll you'll pack one of them later, and you'll go. I always pack guy. a Serbi. He, he was the first one that came into my mind. Cause I always end up getting a Serbi. Um. The qu so, my thought process now to explain it to everybody. I've got five. Do I just stick that there's five, or do I assume that I've forgot two? Um, I feel like I'd remember if there were two that I were missing, whereas before I was only missing one, and that was Romagnoli. You have got two lifelines. Oh. Is if I ask the audience, they'll probably just split five and seven. They may be even three and nine. They might just vote yeah. willy nilly, <laughs> just like. Um, uh, I think the audience one is is one that is quite difficult to. It's, it's one of those questions where, I don't know, one of the maybe top end ones might be better for an Ask the Audience. Yeah, true. Five, five. As soon you. as this question came up, I said five. That was my gut instinct, five. So again, we're going to take a deep breath. <laughs> I feel like there's a cam that I'm missing. Because you got to, basically, you're either bang on the money or you're missing two. Yeah. And, the, and if you if you find one, then you'll know it's seven. two. Yeah, so I or just need to... If, yeah. if you're on. So is there one more? It's a, it's a very tricky, because you're like, oh, I think I know I'm right, but you might not be. I'm going to assume that I'm, I'm going to assume that I'm wrong and that I've missed two. I think that's a false assumption. Oh, I think that's... Is that poor from me? Cams? Wide mids? <laughs> wide mids, wide mids, wide mids. Oh. You have got your two lifelines if you do want to just... Uh... Do you know what? I'm going to use a lifeline. I'm going to ask the audience. Okay. I think I think that's the wise thing to... Because you... I don't know. You, you're very uh, topsy-turvy with your I decisions. Am. You're like... I don't... Like, am I going to go five? Or am I going to go seven? Right, so Richard's that's to use ask the audience. And we do have the results back in. He did believe it. He had about five when when we did do it. So, the question is whether it is uh, five, seven, or nine. Um, and the results are in three with ten point nine percent, five with twenty six point six percent, seven with fifty three point one percent, and nine with nine point four percent. So, <laughs> what are you going to go for, Richard? Okay. What's uh... so I'm going to back the audience. <laughs> and I'm going to say seven, and that I forgot to. Um, while we were waiting for that poll to come in as well I had a breakthrough like a CSI have just found a new piece of evidence I, I found a hair in the crime scene and it was with Napoli and Lorenzo Insigne the, I, that, that Insigne oh. is a very tricky one because he, I think he's like flip flop between walkout and board yeah. like literally the last three FIFAs he's been like 85, 86, 85, I know 86. he's high rated he might, I can't um, remember if he's a walkout or a board but I know he's high rated so I'm gonna back with the audience and I'm gonna go seven please don't let me down the audience have been wrong in the past but they're not wrong today they do have the correct answer it is seven <gasps> um and the two, the one Insigne was one of them. He is uh, eighty-five. It's a this defender, year. surely. I think, and the other one, you think it's defender, do you? Like, let me. Just uh. <laughs> gonna spend another ten minutes trying to think of this last one. He's not a fullback. He's a goalkeeper. It is a goalkeeper. I don't know. He plays in the Syria. Oh, uh, he used to play in Ligue 1. Oh, Sirigu. There we go. Oh. There's the seventh. 
<laughs> that whole heartbreak. Yeah, Sirigu's a very... Um, because he plays with Torino, who aren't exactly the best team yeah. in the world. Um, it's quite a slippery one, that is. Um, but yeah, you have got the fi- uh, the correct answer in the end. And uh, you're up to 3,000 fever points. <laughs> Stress. <laughs> Question number nine is for 4,000 fever points. Which of the following icons have never played in the Scottish League? Is it A, Henrik Larsson, B, Ian Wright, C, Sol Campbell, or D, Gennaro Gattuso? Oh, not played not played so three of them have played in the scottish league we're looking for the one that hasn't played in the scottish league well i know that larson has played for the hoops yeah i i i'll be honest with you i don't know um, this is a this is a bit of a more football. It's on their icon profile, yeah. so it's kind of got a little FIFA link, but it's more in real life football question. This I is. I don't know, and um, that's why I'm going to phone my friend because I think he will know. So uh, Richard's actually uses phone a friend, and he does have the one and only retired YouTuber Curtis Morton. All right, guys, <laughs> retired YouTuber. <laughs> Great, no pressure. Uh, you've you've got the old, you've got the football knowledge, and you've got the uh, very old FIFA knowledge. So hopefully you can come in clutch here, Curtis. Because I need your football knowledge, Curtis. Oh no! Um, Don't say that, Richard. <laughs> this is the question. Okay. Which of the f- how much for? Hang on, I need to know how much for so that uh, I know. Five thousand. Five thousand FIFA. 5, okay, hit me. Which of the following icons have never? Played in the Scottish League. A. Henrik Larsson. B. Ian Wright. C. Saul Campbell. Or D. Gattuso. Uh, I'm almost certain that it's Saul Campbell. So Henrik Larsson and Ian Wright have both both played for Celtic. Yep. And I am 99% sure that Gattuso played for Rangers. So I'm pretty sure it's Saul Campbell. I'm happy to back you. I'm happy to back you. We'll lock in Saul Campbell. Final answer. Final answer. And you do have the correct answer. Oh, yeah. so, so, so. Come on. I must say, in terms of phone a friend's being the perfect person for this question, I don't think you get much better than an Arsenal fan. You literally. Because you've got the two. you got you got Campbell and Wright. Um, Obviously, no. I knew that Larson had played for Celtic. Yeah. It's just about remembering uh, Gattuso played for Rangers. It was well, Rangers, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Curtis, yeah, you also. hero. Nice one. Good luck, mate. Cheers, mate. Hope you go all the way. (laughs) Cheers. Question number 10 is for 5,000 fever points. Antoine Griezmann has had something occur three times on April the 8th in 2016, 19 and 2021. Is it A, scored a hat-trick, B, sent off, C, the birth of his children, or D, torn his ACL? Okay. This is a, this is a very. It's not a question I've done before, but I think I think it's quite nice trivia. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't have a clue. It is a. It, I don't know. Maybe I could have put this a little bit higher, but I think I think it's a question. Um, I'm going to rule out April eighth. So that would have been. Last weekend, it was quite recent. I think I just, li- I think I saw it on Twitter last week, basically, and that's why I put it in. Um, I'm going to rule out the eighth was a Thursday. Tory's ACL, and if the eighth was a Thursday, I'm going to rule out hat trick because he's not playing football on a Thursday. The Barcelona not played the Europa League. <laughs> 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 so, what were the other two? Got sent off. Sent off and the birth of his children. Well, he's not going to get sent off if he's not he's not playing on a Thursday. <laughs> so, it could be Tori's ACL. I feel like I'd have seen that, though, on Twitter. Could have done it in training. <sighs> is it the birth of his child? Ooh. I mean, it's just a guess at this point, really, is it? <laughs> um... Oh, it's e. I don't think it's a football-related thing, because it. The eighth, as you said, I'm gonna go. Um, it's 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 a Thursday. 
It's Thursday. It's a midweek. Like, they played in the Champions League. At least I think they did last week. Yeah. Probably. Um. Unless they played in some sort of cup, but I don't, no, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the uh, footballing in-game related incident. So did he have his third child on the same day? 2016, 2019, 2021. That does sort of, you have one child in 2016, your second child in 2019. The time period sort of, the time difference, three children in five years. On exactly the same day. On exactly the same day. It's uncanny, really. Oh, do you know what? This is a this is a very. It's just if you know it or I not. It's describe. one of those. Like, yeah, 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 it's one of those. If you've seen it, you either know it or yeah. you don't. But unfortunately, I don't know it. <laughs> so this is for six thousand fifty points. Uh, this is for five. five. I, I may have mistaken on the oh, on the curse okay. when it was actually for four. <laughs> um, so you got this question, the next question, and then another question to get the uh, twelve thousand. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a stab in the dark. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know the answer. I'm gonna say. Oh. I do feel like Torres ACL is a little bit out there. That's the only. See, this is. I'm not. I'm not playing the game anymore. I'm playing the question. <laughs> this is what I like to do on the chase. <laughs> Score a hat trick, get sent off, and both sort of. You could, if you're thinking of that question now, their answers that you'd put in there. Birth of his child. Three children on the same day. That is, the chance of that happening is so slim. Torres ACL. It's like, mm, that's a little bit out there. But you are a Derby fan, and Rooney Torres ACL. I've actually torn my ACL oh, as well. So that would it would mean that it's a quite a, a home injury. So that's why he might have thought it of it. Oh, is it ACL? <laughs> my head's spinning. <laughs> this is a this is a question that I, I don't know if many people at home will know this without googling it. Um, again, it's whether you've seen it or not. Um, you know what? We'll lock in. His child got born. His child got born for the third time. Three years, th five years, three children, same day. I don't even want to look. Oh. It was on a Thursday. So I think you were quite, you were quite clever to eliminate the scored the hat trick and being sent yeah. off. So it's not those two. But was he training on a Thursday? Or was his wife in the hospital? Oh. It might have been a home birth, we don't know. Oh. Um, oh, stop stalling! But it was the correct answer, oh. it is the birth of his children. <laughs> you do have 5,000 FIFA oh. points. I think that was a, uh, that was a, that was a, I think it was a good question because it's a good bit of trivia oh. that something's happened to him on the same day in three uh, separate years. Oh. Um, but well done. I think, I think I've really put you through um, the races with that one. That was a very, uh, <laughs> I just, I just started There's to no like, way you've actually assume yeah. like what the probability was, and the ACL. I was like, I feel like that would have come up on my Twitter more often than like, oh, Griezmann's injured, Griezmann's injured, rather than his child. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's it's the wonder of following like random football Twitter pages as they tweet out stuff like this. Um, <laughs> this is, but yeah, you do. Oh. you do have the uh, correct answer, world. <laughs> this is heartbreaking. Question number 11 is for 6,000 FIFA points. Which of the following continents have the most walkouts, including icons? So this is just icons and gold cards. No, no special cards, basically. Is it A, Asia, B, North America, C, Oceania, or D, Scandinavia? Oh. If you want any clarif- If you tell me a nation and you want me to clarify what continent that goes to, um, I'll, I'll be happy to do that, because it's, it's one of those, especially... Well, well, we'll go into it. What, what's, your, uh, what's your thoughts? So, I yeah, thought continent. Scandinavia was part of Europe. Yeah. 
What, what does Scandinavia count as? Oh, it's a bit dodgy because, like, uh, Switzerland technically is part of. Is Switzerland Scandinavia? I think so, yeah. Ooh. Which would mean Jan Sommer. Uh, I didn't realise Switzerland. I, think I thought it, it was is. like. So, my, my thought of Scandinavia is Denmark, um, Sweden, Finland, and Norway. I think Iceland as well, but I don't think there's any Icelandic. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe maybe Sigurdsson, but. Um, I, th I think. Let me. Can I Google if Switzerland's in Scandinavia? Are we? Are we? Are we allowing that? That's that's a that's a. I don't know. Because I'll, I'll have a look for myself. Yeah, have a look. Is because is, I've not heard of that before. Um, <laughs> in Scandinavia, is Switzerland a Scandinavian country? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. So that that threw me off massively. I'm not gonna lie. When you said Switzerland, <laughs> I was like, "What?" Okay. Because that, that's miles away. <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, maybe I should change it from re uh, continents to regions. like regions or something. Yeah, maybe, yeah regions. We'll, we'll do that in the question, guys. No, nobody will know <laughs> apart from my slope. <sighs> okay. Is a good question though, because you gotta you gotta remember certain players. Are we talking especially the icons, icons and? Walkouts, or like icons and golds. Oh, yeah, just walkouts, though. No, not boards. Yeah, just okay. walkouts. No boards. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put you through board pain again. So, walkouts is relatively doable. Oceania, are we just having Australia and New Zealand? I think so. I think they're the that ballpark area, isn't it? I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any. Everything. No Tim Cahill icon yet? No, there's none. There's zero for Oceana. No Mark Viduka. There's zero. Um, Asia. And I'm going to just... I'm going to count... You know, so... Icons, for example, are just one. So, Nakata so counts as one. If they've got... Yeah, so Nakata counts as one. He's not counting as four okay. because of his base yeah. prime and moments. So, Oceana zero. Asia... I'm almost certain there's only one, and that's Nakata. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure there's only one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm already swinging. Sorry, for Scandinavia, did we say Denmark? Yeah, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Norway, and Finland. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'll be honest with you, I'm already swinging towards Scandinavia for the simple fact that they have... Can you just read them countries out again for me, please? Yep, Sweden, Sweden Finland, which Norway. Is Larsen. Um, there's another Swedish icon as well. Who's the other Swedish icon? Oh, I mean, we had Youngberg back in. Wait. Sure, there's no Swedish icon. We've got Finland and Norway. Yeah, Finland, as well. we've got uh, Litmanen. Oh, that's a that's a good one. If you forgot Litmanen, that that would really uh, Norway put you in the mud. Don't think there's any. Holland didn't get his upgrade this year. No, so it's only an And the other nation was obviously um, Denmark, where yeah. you've got Schmeichel, and you have Waldrup. So that's four. Uh, walkouts. Uh, Sweden. Zlatan's aboard. No. Denmark. Ericsson. He's 85. Oof. Haaland's 84. Norway. It is kind of crazy that Haaland's lower rated than uh, Ericsson, yeah, to be is. honest. Um, and... Norway, there's none. Finland, there's none. Hirodeki is 83. Okay. And then North America. Are we counting Mexico? Sorry. Yeah, Mexico, America, Canada. Okay, so you've got... I was I was very much debating putting Costa Rica in, but that's uh, Central America. Yes. Um, yeah, so... So for North America... I was tempted to put Kilo Navas We've got in. Hugo Sanchez... And we have um, Hernandez. Don't think there's any others. 
Uh, let me just run through quickly. Alfonso Davis, 81. No Canadian icons, no American icons. Who's? No more Lalas and Donovan. No. <laughs> um, and there's only two Mexican icons. Any any Asians you forget? No, I don't think so. I don't. I, I'll be. I don't think so. Any golds? Don't think there's any walkouts. I don't think there's any walkouts. I mean, at the minute, I've got zero Oceana, one Asian, four Scandinavian, and two North Americans. So, I'm 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 pretty confident to lock in Scandinavia as my preferred region, please. Final answer. Final answer. You are missing an Asian walkout from the Premier League. Can you think who it is? Um. Oh, Son. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you forgot yeah, about Son. That's like because yeah. <laughs> that would have made the question a little bit more um, like oh, whether, whether you forgot a couple, but. Um, I was very tempted to put Kilo Navas into that North American bracket. Yeah, it made it. But obviously, it counts three, as central. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you do have the correct answer. It is Scandinavia. A little bit, a little bit of a more work. At, you can work this question out quite easily. You just got to remember. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. Question number twelve is for twelve thousand FIFA points. You have got no lifelines remaining though. Which of the following countries was Pepe the centre back born in? Is it A. Argentina, B. Brazil? C, Spain, or D, Portugal? This is a very... It's not really to do with FIFA, I'm not going to lie. It's more of a football question. You know what? I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to go for it. Ooh. Yeah. Brazil. I'll go out on my shield. Brazil. I'm, I'm, I'm just backing it. He... Yeah, Brazil. I don't know why, but I just, I just. You sure it's not a double bluff? Yeah, I'm gonna go Brazil. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. He is Portuguese on FIFA 21. He represents Portugal at the international stage. But he was born in Brazil, Come is the on. correct answer. You are guaranteed 12,000 FIFA points. Where, where did you get that inkling that just, Brazil was the answer? Because where, where was that coming from? The people in Brazil speak Portuguese. And I just thought his, his, his parents might have been Brazilian, born in Brazil, then moved to Portugal. Or I, I don't know what, I just thought, yeah, just go Brazil, Richard, just go Brazil. <laughs> is that just like... Just a higher power, just, just, just telling me to do it, yeah. Oh... Question number 13 is for 25,000 FIFA points. This is essentially a free hit. You can, you can do this question um, and not worry about dropping down because you are guaranteed 12,000 now. And it's kind of shown your your knowledge of the FIFA scene is uh, very good indeed. You've you've really... I think the Griezmann was, one was a little bit of luck. That was a guess. That was um, a complete guess. Yeah, yeah. But all in all, um, you've done quite well so far. So let's see if you do get this next question correct. Which of the following FIFA 18 Festival of Foot players were the lowest rated? Is it A, Lionel Messi, B, Eden Hazard, C, Cristiano Ronaldo, or D, Luis Suarez? Okay. <laughs> I, I think I know this. We're, we're looking for the lowest. <laughs> Hazard was 99, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Hazard got a 99. And I'm, I, I'm certain Suarez got a 99 as well. Um... Unless Hazard might have got a 98. I know that Suarez got a 99. I'm 1,000% sure Suarez got a 99. I would assume that Messi and Ronaldo both got 99s too. But this festival of foot was 2018, did you say? Yeah. FIFA 18. Yeah, so this was to synchronise the World Cup. And obviously we know Portugal didn't have a great World Cup. Neither did Argentina, really. The first thing that came into my head was Messi, as crazy as that sounds. 
Messi came into my head straight away. I know that Suarez at 99. I know that. I did say Messi first, to be fair, so that's why I did go into your head straight. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I know that Suarez is 99, and I know, I'm, I'm almost confident Hazard got a 99 that year in the Festival of Foot. So it's either Ronaldo or Messi. Part of me thinks that Ronaldo's 98. The, the, like, it was like a pink design, weren't it? Yeah, it was yeah, like I seem to remember that pink being 98. and white, I think. Yeah. It's between Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah, I'm just trying to think foot bin. I've scrolled through these cards so many times. <laughs> just looking through the generations. Yeah. Like. When I click like FIFA 18 and I scroll through and I look. Ronaldo. I thought this was a good question because all, all of those players are very good and obviously yeah. had good World Cups. I and know that, that Suarez got 99. I know that. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Hazard got a 99 as well. Messi on. It's a free hit. It is. You know what? I'm, I'm actually going to lock in Messi. That might be outrageous. And that might be incorrect. But I'm going to lock in Messi. Final answer. Um, or was it Ronaldo? This is, this is your free hit. You... Was it Ronaldo? Was Ronaldo 98? It's a one in four. Oh... See, now I'm thinking Ronaldo's 98. I'm just trying to remember that summer. I can't even remember how... Where did Portugal finish in the World Cup? Like, quarterfinals, maybe? Maybe round of 16? I actually can't remember. Did they lose to... I want to say they lost to France, but I don't think they did. Was it Germany? for the life of me. We, we're going to lock in. I'm going to back myself and I'm going to say Messi. Final answer. Final, final, final answer. This was a free hit. Yep. You had no lifelines. Nope. Just vibes and a bit of memory. And I, I ruled out Suarez and Hazard straight away. Which could have been incorrect. You were right to do okay. that. Both okay. of those were 99. Yeah. So it's either Messi or Ronaldo. Don't tell me. Neither Messi or Ronaldo were 99. Oh. They're both under. Ronaldo 97, weren't he? Oh. Oh. <sighs> tell me I'm wrong. Ronaldo was, Ronaldo was 98. And Messi was 97. Yeah. You got the correct answer. It was Lionel Messi. <laughs> Come on! That, that is... I I must give you a lot of credit for that. Knowing that is oh. um, top stuff because I didn't even like when I saw it. I was like, "That's that's a brilliant question." Because most people assume it's you know one of the you know all three of those players, oh. um, all four of those players could very easily be the lowest rated. Um, so you have done very very well indeed with that, with the knowledge of the ninety nine Suarez and the ninety nine Hazard. Um, well, I think Hazard actually had a ninety eight and a ninety nine. Yeah. I don't quite understand how he had. No, that, I but. don't either. Yeah, you do have the correct answer. Well done. Twenty-five. We're two questions away from uh, hundred thousand. Are your dreams going to come oh. reality? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Question number fourteen for fifty thousand FIFA points. Which of the following nations do not have a single goal player on FIFA Twenty One Ultimate Team? Okay. Is it A. Mozambique, B. Madagascar, C, Zambia, or D, Sierra Leone? This is a very tricky question. Okay. 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 So we're looking for the... So three of these nations have a base gold player, um, and one of them doesn't. A base gold player. This is, this is where, like, that... I don't know, that kind of background memory yep. of when you're opening, like, seven and a half K-packs and you see the different flags... Um. Again, are there any are there any that you can remember that have goals? Um, or is this just a complete no? Pun? This is a complete stab in the dark. <laughs> um, I don't know. I must say, I do I do really love this question. Just that the nations with a single gold are just wonderful because it's like. Can you read them out again, please? Yeah, we got Mozambique, 
Madagascar, great film, uh, Zambia, and uh, Sierra Leone. I'm leaning towards Madagascar. I don't know why, but that's where I'm leaning. This is a very tricky question. Can you are you are, are you allowed on this game show just to, to take take the FIFA points? <laughs> you can take them. Yeah, you can take. If if you don't know the answer, you can take twenty. I can just take twenty five thousand. Can't I? But if I look, if I get this yeah. wrong, I go to twelve. Go back down to twelve thousand. Yeah, I probably should have explained this to you. But <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for you. Just as you're about to lock in yeah, the answer. Literally, I'm like, can I take the money, by the way? I'm going to go with Madagascar. Um, <laughs> I mean... If you don't if you don't know for sure, I, I, I'd recommend... 25k heat points is good. Know. Like, that's a good... That's a good day at a the office. A very good day at the office. Um, Not many people can brag that they've got over the... A lot of people have done the 12 and the 1k. Not many people are in that 25 and above bracket. However, but do you do you want to be the first person to get to twenty thousand? That's the I real. do. And I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> Twelve k for you boys. You still a good amount for people to win for team of the season. <laughs> yeah, by the time this is out, this, yeah. this is prime team. So of the season. that's why I'm gonna lock in Madagascar. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> You're just about to do the like the logical thing and go. Yeah, I hundred percent know that twenty five k is a good amount. <laughs> I think 12k is good enough anyway. Um, Madagascar, locked in. Final answer. <laughs> this was a very tricky question. And I must say, I have been a little bit mean with the wording of this. So we were looking for base gold players. And one of these nations actually have a gold in form. <laughs> Luckily... It wasn't Madagascar. It is the wrong answer, unfortunately. The correct answer was Sierra Leone, oh. who have a gold in form, which doesn't count as a base gold player. Um, so I must say, I, oh. you've, do, you've done... It's heartbreak. Uh, you've, you've been brave, but unfortunately, it's not paid off. Um, I think if I was going to answer this question, I honestly would have gone for Madagascar. I was amazed there's a Madagascar gold on the game. Yeah, it is. So, oh that, well, that is a very tricky question. But you've done well it's to get the twelve k. Been regardless. a valiant effort. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have taken the twenty five. <laughs> it's fine. People will be fine with you, twelve. You were going. <laughs> <laughs> you were going for the logical thing ago. Twenty five thousand. That's a great amount. Not many people have done that. Go Madagascar. Lock it in. <laughs> oh. Regardless, we do do the uh, final question anyway, just to see how many of the uh, fifteen you do get correct. So let's see if you do know. The 100,000 FIFA point question. Which of the following Premier League players have the highest penalty stat? Is it A, Harry Kane, B, Mark Noble, C, Bruno Fernandes, or D, Jorginho? Um, can I lock in Mark Noble, please? Is that instant? Yeah. Is that, do you know that for I'm sure? I'm pretty sure he's got the highest pens base in the Prem. And it is the correct answer. It is Mark Noble. Imagine oh. if... I switched those Honestly, last two questions around. I could have walked around. away with 50,000 FIFA points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I thought that was a very tricky question. I just, the it's just something one. I just know. Not many, yeah. yeah. I think, again, it's, it's whether you know it or not. Like, I think the logic, like people that don't know that would have gone, you know, Bruno or Jorginho because obviously they're known. But again, then again, Mark Noble's known for his penalties. Um, but yeah, it's crazy that I think he's got like 93 penalties. Yeah. On, his, um, yeah. on a 75 gold card. Oh, imagine those have been all the way around. <laughs> you've done. <laughs> yep, you've done incredibly well. You have got 14 correct out of the 15. Um, literally, the, the the single gold, that that is the only thing. And I think even that, you've gone on the logic that, you know, Madagascar, I think you just realistically wouldn't expect them to have a gold. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, it just, it's one of those where that is, you've got to I guess it. That's definitely... Yeah. Definitely one of the closest we got to the uh, 100,000, oh, but... Uh, so close. It's been, well, <laughs> it's been a little bit torturous for you, I'm not going to lie, with some of the some of the board and walk out, and even that Antoine Griezmann one, that was... Uh, <laughs> you were just trying to, like, work it out. Um, but I think you've done ro you've done very well, and uh, you kind of have shown your uh, FIFA knowledge very well indeed. It, it's been a pleasure to be on. Um, I, I, in the future, when, we, when you go around again, 
<laughs> I've got to get to that 100k. I have to this do is, it. This is the thing now. You were so close to your dream. Honestly. And I've just like pulled it away from you with that question. Oh, <laughs> if those questions were the other way but, around as well. I'd probably... I must say... I'd probably walk away with 50k for for points. Like, I probably don't even take the 100k gamble just because like 50k... Would you know? would I don't you, know, would you 50k know? for points, like... Because it's still a one in four is, to get the hundred k and to get it right. Imagine, imagine being a person that wouldn't like <laughs> take the know. gamble. I think if I was at that fifty, yeah, if I'm at that fifty k to be the first one to get a hundred thousand, I think I wouldn't have. You know, you'd have the minerals to go through. Yeah, with it. absolutely. Um, <laughs> but I think, I think in terms of record speed of a phone a friend, I think we've got to give that to Curtis <laughs> Morton because that was honestly like bang straight away. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> it's Campbell. To be fair though, like um, some of the questions that I had, like like that Mac Noble one. If you know it, you just know it. Like you just know yeah, the answer. Yeah. Like you, you just get it straight away. But the um, the, the boards and then the single rare. Oh, the single player. Yeah, that, that I love that question. Just on the basis that some people do know the answer, but at the same time, you like try to remember what like fodder players you've used yeah. for like SBCs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Mo- Mozambique, Madagascar, Zambia, and Sierra Leone, and. You know, realist. It is a fifty thousand FIFA point question. <laughs> You've got to take fair. it. Um, but anyway, hopefully, you guys, did enjoy today's episode. There will be a uh, tweet in the description to the twelve thousand FIFA point giveaway. Could have been twenty five thousand, but I think Richard had the book. Uh, he had the minerals. I did. I, I'll I did. give him I'm, that. I, I, he had the minerals. I will never to, bottle in that to chase your dreams. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, you guys, did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, and see you soon. Bye.